Hmm. <sighs> it's been a long day today. I did not work today. Uh, Orson did that for us, mom. And I'm just at the headquarters, and there's my truck, the Hummer. My wife came over today. My wife came over. It's kind of windy. It's really windy right now. But my wife came over today, and we took the Hummer for a spin. We just, had, we just spent time together. We went to two festivals in downtown Dallas. It was pretty cool. There were so many festivals, so many people getting out. So many people out there just having a good time in downtown Dallas. And uh, I decided to show up and with the Hummer. And my wife came out here. This is kind of this is kind of weird. My wife... She rarely comes by the property, and when she does come by for the property, it's just to say hi or bring me lunch or something like that. And she came by, and we took off in the Hummer, and I had to move a vehicle so she could park her car. She parked her car actually right there. And I was just going, man. And she came by, and she asked me, why is my truck out? By the way, the uh, 3500, I moved it. So what y'all don't seem to understand is that diesel trucks, if you leave a diesel sitting for a while and you try to start it up, it won't start. It had two dead batteries. I spent $308 to put batteries in this vehicle and it ran. I started up and I moved it. It was way back there. It was way back there. Now I brought it out here and now I got stuck because I got to turn it. Well, anyway, anyway, point of the story is she came by and she goes, is that a new truck? And I said, no, honey, I've had that truck for like six years. She didn't even realize it. She goes, wow, you have a lot of vehicles. And it came to my attention and she goes, wow, you've really, your business, you've really done something. And I was like, yeah, you know, I did have the summit here on the property. It was awesome summit, by the way. If you didn't make it, maybe next year you try to make it because so many people learn so much stuff. And, uh, you know, there's the patio section and some the patio for the property. And I guess the, the 3500, the 350, the F350, 6.4, the uh, box truck, which is my primary vehicle sometimes. The 6.0 F450, and then of course you have the F550 right there, the flatbed, and then the Hummer, and then the 3500 Chevrolet, which I'm going to use, and then the F350. So there's four vehicles on this property. Plus, that's Orson's trailer right there. That's Orson. So he's been working with me the last few weeks. You know, thank God he's been here with me. But you know, it, I'm just thinking. And then there's three mini dumpsters. Okay, there's three mini dumpsters. Let me show you the mini dumpsters. So. I sold the mini dumpsters like a month ago and the guy paid me for them and he hasn't came by to pick them up and I keep on leaving messages. I'm um, seriously, I think he passed away or something's wrong with this guy. So there's the three mini dumpsters, one, two, three, they're back there. And I have been renting those things out. I just been renting them out. I haven't even told the guy about them. The point of the reason I do this video, I want everybody to understand that we're all the same. I don't do anything different than anybody else does. And there's my vehicle right there. There's my vehicle right there, by the way. Golly, there's one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Jeez, I didn't even know I owned that many vehicles. It's crazy. So as I'm walking by the property, my junk guy's property, I'm in the warehouse right now. I, I want to point out something. I want to tell you something, guys. When I built this business 16 years ago, I didn't realize, I, I didn't expect my business to get this big. But I'll tell you something that I did that helped me build the business as big as it is, okay? One thing that's really important, I want everybody that is starting junk removal to understand this. I didn't do anything different. I didn't do anything extraordinary. But I'll tell you what I did do every day. I worked. I worked hard. I worked, and it worked out for me. I came to work, I didn't turn down jobs, I did everything that I could to get my ass out there and work. I didn't turn down jobs, I didn't pass on jobs, if they were far, I went and did them. If I had the time to go do them, I did them. And I think there's a misconception out there about a lot of crazy things that I do. I like having fun at work, I do. I like playing around a lot, but when it comes to work, I'm a serious person. I don't play around with money. And hopefully this video comes out the right way that it motivates people that, you know, here, okay, I have a warehouse here. I have a whole 
this is not a piece of property that I go and I rent out and then there's like I saw somebody said they showed off their property the other day right and then they showed off their property into open field it's like a public storage <laughs> and I was just like okay well that's a public just to say you're at public storage you're a storage facility but um it's it's funny to see people do that that is just a public place to rent this is this is a full headquarters it is a warehouse also at the same time uh, it's a place where we hold my facility where I hold my my uh, summit and I'm gonna announce something in the next couple of weeks that's gonna make a lot of people open their eyes and go holy cow he did it and yeah in the next couple of weeks I have two huge announcements uh, two announcements that are going to raise a lot of questions and how I do business, but things are changing at Junk Guys. We're growing this business as fast as we can, but we're taking the appropriate steps to do it, and we're not being really crazy with them, right? Um, so me and, me and my, my co-workers, especially Orson and people like Junk Guys Nashville, we talk all the time about which way we should take this business and the direction we're going. And I just sit there and all the time I'm just thinking, man, you know, I'm hoping that I make the right decision to excel my business in the proper right direction. But I do have an announcement that I'm sending out in the next few weeks. Uh, two of them, two huge, two really huge ones. And then we'll go from there. And of course, we're on the headquarters. This is the headquarters, but this is also where I do my haunted house. So in most of these vehicles, I'll store all these vehicles on another property. I'll store them there. I'll keep them there uh, for about two months. And that's what happened with the uh, 3500, the truck that's way back there. You see the truck that's way back there? You can see it right in between those that truck and that trailer right there. That truck and that trailer. Um, I kept that truck back there for the haunted house and it's got some damage. People were hitting it with sticks and baseball bats because you got to scare people. But uh, ultimately, it's it was part of the haunted house and I kept it turned off for about three months and then I tried to turn it on and it was dead. Batteries just completely dead. So today I replaced the batteries and I drove the truck around. Um, now it's stuck in the back again. So I'm going to pull it out in the next few days and I'm going to crank that bitch out. I'm going to crank it out. I'm going to drive it. And it's going to be back on the road really, really, really quick. It's going to be out on the road. Doing business and making money, hopefully. Uh, but the announcements that I have coming up, I have one not this coming up Monday, but the Monday after that. And then after that Monday, I have a bigger, bigger announcement. Okay? But the reason I did this video, I want people to realize, guys. I know a lot of people have those NPR trucks and stuff. If that's the choice that you want to do and you want to buy those buy them do it your way don't do it my way I don't know if a lot of people want to do it my way okay I know a lot of people that want to do it their own way and they want to buy and have that bill that's great but all these trucks every one of these trucks every one of these trailers are paid for okay I don't know anything now the only thing that I don't own is that building right there that is not my building okay So, I'll show you the outside of the uh, warehouse really fast up of the property. I still have my Christmas stuff up, but uh, that's what it looks like from the outside. It says Junk Guys outside, Junk Guys right there, Junk Guys up there. So that's the outside of the property right there. It's alright, not bad. If you pull this down, if I pull that down, there is a black one behind it and they'll graffiti it so i'm not going to pull it down until chris i mean halloween time and then it'll be all dark again on the property that's why i don't pull that down because man the graffiti people out here are crazy check this house out they just built that house across the way and i looked it up eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars, and the one next to it is going to be about eight hundred and seventy five thousand dollars. isn't that crazy it's a badass house so i just figured out why they're not breaking into my place well that's a sheriff a sheriff lives there. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, anybody can do what I did. Anybody. Anybody can do the work that I do. Anybody can have this with time. Anybody can grow their business. Don't be discouraged, guys. 
don't be discouraged. I did it, and I'm not the smartest apple in the whole room. You know what I'm saying? I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.